Right, so guys, here we are. Hole number five, we're gonna take a look at here. I'll try to go about five on the top spin here. Try to dial back a little bit more with the Kingmaker ball. You can see trying to land up in here. There's five, six rings, somewhere in seven, maybe with a little bit of curl. You can see, I'm gonna need a decent amount of power, so I'm going about half here. And more or less, just trying to keep it away from this bunker. Hopefully, I'd like to not clip that rough, but you can see it did, um, especially with the great ball. You know, I kind of changed my line a little bit, so I tried to, with that great ball, I ended up just a little bit too much to the right. Um, however, it still might not have been enough power. You can see when we get it out there, um, you really want to make sure that you get it into the fairway, hopefully. And uh, I do think that's going to be the best route. You can see this is the first time I've seen somebody go to the left. Um, I'm not, not a huge fan of going over to the left here um, with this wind anyway. Uh, it probably will be almost straight into the face, which makes it somewhat makeable, I guess. Uh, biggest thing that I worry about is the backstop. And, you know, when you go... Um, straight into the wind like that the, the hardest thing about that shot is going to be getting that behind the hole and getting it to drop that way so we probably need to go just a little bit tight you can see that I'm kind of way over to the right with my you know I expect this wind to really push this really really push this and I'm thinking even with this adjustment you can see we're pretty close to max club I mean, somewhere in the neighborhood of seven rings here. Plus that ma major offset ball guide. Perfect ball. And sure enough, there it is. So seven rings plus that major, you, you can see that the ball's just coming in sideways, essentially. So very tricky shot. Um, however, you know, as I mentioned, guys are going to have kind of straight into the wind here. Kind of is a little bit favorable. It's almost something to consider, especially if you were to go win five and just go over to this left. Um, it does create kind of a nice angle with the wind. Um, biggest issue that I have is, you know, being able to, and you can see my opponent here going off the rough. It's very interesting going for this bump. Um, I've never seen anybody make it this way. I'm not saying that it can't be done. I just think when you land on a side hill like that, uh, the ball guide is probably more times than not not going to roll out exactly the way that you want it to do when you, when you go way up on that high hill and try to get it to roll down. It's going to run down so many different directions. Very tricky to get it to fall with that route. But again, it's also something I haven't done a very great deal of. Um, but in the times that I have, I'm just like, eh, this is a little bit too tricky. It's a little, you have to be very perfect with the way that uh, it's executed. But uh, good luck with that hole. Hopefully you guys are able to get it. Um, and I will see you guys on the next one.